most wheels, when you get to any obstacle, it turns into complete chaos. So I was thinking, what if we gave the wheels a little bit more bounce? Now that would most certainly make the ride a little bit smoother. Now I actually kind of want them to be like the monster truck wheels, but dude, these wheels right here, they're the worst. They're the same like hardness as regular wheels. Like they're not even softer, dude. So we're gonna have to build a custom pair. I mean, they are most certainly a little bit chunkier, but dude, yeah, they hit just as hard. <laughs> All right, now this right here is a little bit of a size comparison. So we're definitely gonna have to chunk up our wheel a little bit, dude. That's a, these are way bigger, but it also gives us a lot of space to hide the mechanics. Now, one thing I'm actually really curious about is to see how much weight a spring can actually hold up. Because I don't know, I wanna make sure that I can actually build this with like a pretty strong material. All right, so that's wood. And here you have some of the other materials I was actually considering. All right, let's see how much weight we can actually hold up. <laughs> All right, let's see how much weight we can actually hold up. And dude, literally every single one of these was immediately dead, except for these two. Honestly, I was kind of hoping to use metal, but it seems like we're probably gonna have to use plastic. Wait, dude, plastic weighs nothing, like actually nothing. Wait, that's actually kind of interesting. There is zero weight to it. Hmm, that is actually gonna come in very useful. Okay, so we're gonna build these out of plastic, but trust me, I'll make sure that they're pretty strong. Now, one thing I'm actually not sure of is with the way they actually changed the way that springs work, if I place it this far away, is it just gonna stay this far away? Did I just like stretch the spring? All right, let's see. Okay, never mind. <laughs> It literally always gets back to the exact same spot. Okay, well, that's actually good to know, though, because that is literally the exact same height as the wheel. Holy crap. Wait, that is actually perfect. Oh, this is going to turn out pretty good. Right, that's the highest point of that. It's like literally half a block off. All right, so right there, we actually have the exact perfect thickness. Okay, so now that we know this, we can actually pretty much turn this into a perfect circle. We're just going to have to make sure that we actually place things correctly. All right, here we go. Now, I think if I take T... All right, here we go. Now, I think if I take... T oh, oops, actually. That is uh, very, very smooth. Uh, two. Okay. Uh, I think if I take these two blocks right here and actually just dupe them and I rotate. Okay. That turned out horribly. <laughs> What the hell, dude? What? Okay, uh, this needs to actually be smooth, by the way. <laughs> oh, wait, I skilled everything wrong. Okay, yeah, there you go. That looks a little better. Okay, everything... <laughs> Everything's looking a little bit better now. All right, yeah, okay, there you... As you can see, if we actually start using this to make ourselves a wheel, it would look very freaking good. But, dude, I don't want my wheel to just simply be like a straight-up block, because that would look absolutely terrible, okay? We, we want it to look a whole lot better than that. So, actually, I'm gonna pull everything back back together, just like so. And now we're just simply back to having, you know, straight up blocks, okay? I saved all the data. I typed it in chat, okay? Don't worry. So that way I can easily get back to what we just had. But yeah, like I said, I want this wheel to have some curvature. I want it to have a little bit of girth, okay? It needs to look, it needs to look really good. Now, I think the easiest way to do that is actually just to go like this. Okay, I was gonna say, I think I can leave this block right here. I'm actually gonna just move it out of the way so I haven't lost it. And I think I can just shave off half of these each. Okay, that is, that is not perfect. All right, there we go. Right, we're already getting a little bit of thickness going. It's looking pretty good. All right, now we got to add even more girth to it because, dude, this thing has to be chonky. All right, that is looking pretty good. Now, actually, one thing I'm not really loving is how the tip right here is, like, very spiky. I kind of want it to be flat. So, actually, I'm going to move these back into place. Actually, wait, I got to boop, boop, boop. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay, that actually looks way better. I just got to fix the, the, the problems I just created. Oh, there you go. Okay, dude, that looks way better. All right, and then we, all right, then, and I think I want to add one more block all the way at the end right here just to make it look like it has, like, a real steep curve to it at the end. All right, and finally, I actually want to add like this little thing that goes inside as well, so that way it looks really nice and puffy. All right, now there it is. That right there is going to be the final shape of the wheel. Now, currently, it might just look a little bit weird, okay? But this right here is going to be the part that's going to be like cushioning and stuff. It's kind of going to be like the same as that, but actually working, you know what I'm talking about? Now, one thing I haven't added in yet is the actual rim on the inside. And actually, I am going to add that in, but just not quite yet, because actually, one of the things I want to make sure I actually actually add in is a bunch of mechanics and i simply cannot do that if i have the rim you know in the way so i think next up what i'm gonna have to do is actually figure out how i can properly clone this thing because the way it's gonna work is gonna be a little bit tricky because pretty much every single one of these parts is gonna have to have a different thickness because it kind of needs to slot in there like a triangle so yeah i i'm gonna have to figure this out all right so the very top piece needs to be 0.19 wider so that's that one and same as for these all right for this next piece we're gonna have to make it smaller like that. Actually, never mind. I messed up the numbers. <laughs> all right, all done. Now, currently, it looks a little bit weird. I mean, it looks very uneven, but trust me, I'm pretty sure when I actually start cloning this around, it's gonna look really freaking good. My clone. Oh, I really hope it looks good. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Wait. <laughs> 
Wait, it actually looks so good. Dude, look at that. It's like way smooth right now. No, don't look at this. the sides, of course. It's just like the line there. That is really, really good. Now, I'm actually going to have to delete all of this because I actually have to also, you know, clone and rotate all of the mechanics. So yeah, this is, this is a problem. So one very important thing is that we actually want to make sure that we don't glue together pretty much all of our mechanics. So uh, we're going to have to move things a little bit. So we're going to move all of this stuff 20 blocks up. And then once again, move everything 20 blocks up. There you go. And of course, I did this way too early. I actually got to <laughs> gotta move everything back down. So yeah, one thing that's actually very important is that we mark the exact place uh, the, or the exact height that we actually got to place our, uh, our spring at. So uh, yeah, I forgot to add that in. There you go. All right. And I'm going to have to do that on both sides. All right. There we go. Now that we have that marked out, we should be good. All right. Time to start moving things. All right. There we go. I think that's good. Now, all we should have to do is pretty much go in right here and simply place ourselves a spring on each side, just like so, on the inside, like that. Same thing on that side. There you go. And I think with that, we will actually get ourselves a bouncy wheel when we start cloning this thing around. Okay, so let me actually start cloning it. <sighs> okay, here we go. All right, now when we rotate this, it's not gonna look as good as it did earlier, but at least everything is gonna work. So that's good. Okay, now one of the things actually we don't wanna clone at all is uh, <laughs> is the wheel. So I'm just gonna move, I'm gonna move that away. And actually really quickly, I'm gonna replace these blocks right here with plastic. Because like I said, we want this thing to be as light as possible. All right, there you go. All right, now that we've done that, ready to keep cloning. All right, almost done. Final clone. And there it is, baby. That is our entire wheel done. Now, currently, it looks a little bit weird. And actually, we're going to have to do like a little bit of magic when it comes to collision. Because yeah, like, you know, if the blocks all start colliding with each other, we've got a huge mess on our hands. But actually, I kind of want to see what happens when we have all of this stuff collide. So, about a boom. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, it doesn't turn into a smooth wheel. Uh, when we turn off collision, that right there is a smooth wheel. Okay, now we got a little bit of funkiness at the bottom right there. But dude, all around, this thing is looking really, really good. And the reason it's actually kind of a little bit worse at the bottom, <laughs> I mean, literally, if I rotate it, it should still do the same thing. And that's actually because the weight is pulling it down a little bit. But also, that's what's going to give us that bounce. So yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, now I'm going to reload this thing. And actually, I probably should have done this uh, earlier. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to add in the thing that's actually actually going to allow us to pretty much drive this thing around like an actual car. So all I'm going to have to do to do that is simply place myself a block right here, like so. I'm going to scale it as small as possible. I'll mark it just, just so you guys can see. And actually, we want this thing to be really, really thin. So we're going to do a little something like that. And yeah, we're going to have to do that for every single one of these. And actually, I'm kind of thinking maybe it would be kind of cool to add a ridge to it. I mean, these wheels have kind of like a thing to it. Like, what if we just add the ridge? And that's that might just look really cool. Wait a second. Also, I actually think it's going to be way easier to work with this thing uh, without having cloned it yet. So I'm actually going to undo the cloning. Oh, never mind. I saved it. All right, there we go. So let's add this ridge in now. All right, so I want it to be pretty thin. Yeah, I think something like that. All right, now we got to make sure it looks good. All right, there we go. I added in the ridges. So pretty much every single part of this needs to be collision off except for the ridge. Collision off. Also, I actually think I'm going to do the paint job now because, dude, doing it later would be way more difficult. So uh, yeah, the actual wheel itself is going to be kind of like the same color as every other wheel in the game. But the ridge, I kind of like what they did right here. So I kind of might want to do something in that color scheme. All right. I think that's pretty close. All right. There we go. So actually, before I finish off the final duping, making the whole thing like final, I think I am. <laughs> I actually think I am going to, you know, go ahead and actually add in the rims. Now, actually, what I'm going to do for the rims is going to be a little bit more simple than what they actually did in build about, because honestly, you're not really going to see too much of them. So I'm just going to simply, you know, place a single block and clone that around. Uh, this is going to be that block. All right, there we go. So that right there is going to be the middle block. And now I'm going to go ahead and actually do all of the cloning. All right. And there it is. That is the entire design finished. Now, I hope when I actually pull this entire thing together, it's not going to look bad. Come on, baby. All right, here we go. On anchor. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, it actually looks really good. And actually, it looks very similar to the real like puffy wheel, dude. Are you kidding me? That looks amazing. Now, I think the way I'm actually going to put this entire thing together is I just simply want using one of these wheels right here. I mean, I should just simply get like the the, 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 the 
the turning and everything for free. All right, there you go. So that wheel on the inside. Oh my God, dude. I think all I have left to do is just start spinning this thing. <laughs> okay, I unanchored it. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about is, okay, yeah, when I start spinning it, it does do a little bit of that. Um, I think there's only one way I can actually fix that is by slowing the wheel down a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, it, it's a lot less that way. But dude, trust me, when this thing is gonna bounce over things, it's gonna look amazing. <laughs> all right, there we go. So that's two wheels and we're just gonna clone these to the back. So that way we got four wheels and of course a whole freaking car. <laughs> they delete that. Oh baby, there it is. Okay, we're gonna have to move these uh, a little bit further apart. All right, now currently all of our wheels can actually steer, which is a bit of a problem. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to replace them with the correct wheels. So the back ones need to be, you know, just boring wheels. And there it is. That right there is looking so cool. All right, here we go. On a car! Okay, now everything went pretty good so far. And they drive. Wait, did I not place? I did. <laughs> Uh, I've got a feeling I didn't place the wheels in the center because they're very wobbly right now. Oh, wait, no! Wait, <laughs> I saved the wheels like this. I'm not able to do that, actually. I cannot... Oh, we're gonna have to go back to... I hope I still have it. Did I just lose everything? Oh, my God. Okay, so I still have the wheel like this. Yeah, guys. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's actually not possible to save the wheels, uh, <laughs> you know, small, because then everything gets glued together, dude. Oh my god. I'm so glad I actually realized in time. All right, there we go. So I just rebuilt pretty much the entire car. Uh, the only difference is, is that now uh, I have uh, pistons, making sure that pretty much everything uh, gets placed in the right direction, because otherwise this car would be freaking massive. So yeah, I think all I have to do is hook up all the mechanics. All right, so I'm going to have to unlink all of the pistons. All right, there you go. Add in a bit of a button. And yeah, that just links to all of the pistons. All right, here we go. Time to try this thing out. <laughs> okay, so all we should have to do is sit in the chair, flick the lever, which is gonna just simply, uh, what? I guess I forgot to hook up the, these. <laughs> okay, now I messed it up completely. Like, ah! Okay, fix that. There you go. Boom. All right, here we go. Unanchor the whole thing, dude. Look at the wheels. Now you can see right there, it gets a little bit weird looking, but that right there is all cushioning, baby. We got a bunch of cushioning right there. Okay. Flick the lever. Boom. There you go. Now everything is looking pretty good. And actually, when we start driving, as you can see, our wheels are like super freaking soft. Now, there's actually a couple benefits to this because, for example, let's say, you know, you want to climb something with regular wheels. You don't got a lot of whole, like a whole lot of force to climb with. But with these, you got the cushioning. So you can climb over anything smoothly, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Now, one thing I will also add is if you want to have monster truck wheels, but you can't afford them, you can just simply, uh, you know, get make these. Uh, and set the wheel torque to orange, and I would actually lower the speed a little bit, so it doesn't glitch out as much. But this is pretty much the exact same thing. Look, like, we can literally climb anything now, dude. It's, like, soft and smooth and everything. Climb that. Yeah, we're, yeah, we can do that. Oh, oops, we're upside down. <laughs> yeah, I think we can literally climb anything now. Like, I don't know. I want to get up there. Can I just simply drive over? Okay, wait, actually, we're upside down again. Okay, I'll be a little bit careful about flipping over, because that's something I don't want to happen. Maybe a little bit more speed. We'll set it to 20. Okay, okay. Oh, my God, dude, that is so much extra force. That's not even funny. Climb up there. Okay, we're just not tall enough. We're like not... <laughs> We could do it if we had a little bit more height. Yeah, we're just gonna flip over. Dang it! Also, the higher you set the torque, the more, like, glitchy it's gonna get. Like, as you can see, all of my wheels are glitched right now, which is pretty bad. So, yeah, you probably wanna be kind of careful with the torque. Mmm, I kinda wanna drive over this boat. Come here, boy! You're mine! <laughs> oh, my God, we're literally pushing him out of my plot right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, I really, really like these wheels. You know what? I might even like them better than the actual Robux ones, you know what I'm talking about? But there is one thing they probably aren't very good at. And that is actually getting to the end because these things are entirely made from plastic. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh God. Okay. Now it is very smooth. It's a very smooth ride to the end, but we're not going to have a whole lot of uh, safety. Oh, we already lost a wheel. We literally already lost a single wheel. Oh my God. I'm trying to survive. Come on. If we go faster, we're not we'll even get hit. Oh, we got already, already got hit. <laughs> oh God. We lost another wheel. Oh, we literally lost the only wheel we had for steering. Yep. I think it's safe to say that we're dead. <laughs>